Let's say I purchased a product from you. Now when the product was in transit, I sold it to another buyer and asked the delivery company to deliver it directly to the new buyer's address. So who will be paying the indirect taxes finally? This is what happened in the case of high seas sales. The goods are sold by the original buyer when the goods are in the high seas. Basically the goods are sold when they are in international waters in the deep sea from the original buyer to the new buyer. Let's say a person from Delhi decides to import a petroleum product from UAE. Now when the goods were in transit, when the goods were in the high sea, this Delhi person sells these goods to a person in Bangalore who is in a special economic zone. So when the goods reach Nawashiva, the duty to clear the goods is of the Bangalore importer, including all the taxes which is basic custom duty, IGST, which will not be applicable to this person because that person is in a special economic zone and third is the cess and surcharge. Basically the invoicing goes like United Arab Emirates is the seller, original importer is Delhi person, Delhi importer invoices it to Bangalore buyer and the actual movement of goods is not via the Delhi person, instead it is directly from United Arab Emirates to the Bangalore buyer. So what did this person achieve by doing this transaction? This person saved IGST, this person saved BCD and this company saved cess and surcharge on both of the above taxes. Now let's understand this three-party transaction with a different angle. 